this is Crystal and today's topic is going to be about being a homewrecker in a friend's relationship. Hmm. So basically it all happened when it was my second year of college. I was extremely stressed out and um, just had too much going on and I just needed a break. So me and five friends, we decided to rent this it's kind of like an Airbnb for those of you who don't know what it is. It's like um, either like a condo or a house. Some people have like a, um, one that looks like an apartment. And basically you could um, rent it out for either weeks or um, more than that. And it's just fully furnished and you just, it's like your own place and you just buy groceries and do laundry if they have a facility for laundry. So it was a nice place. We just wanted vacation from stress and, and life craziness going on. So we decided all five of us to go. And so the crazy situation about it is that the um four okay so it was five of us and three people i knew the other two i didn't really know too well but my friend decided to invite them because she said you know they're nice they're cool people and so i was like okay but for me when i like to relax i like to get to know someone especially if we're going to be in the same um apartment or same pl uh, the same room I like to get to know you if we're sleeping in the same place. I'd like to get to know how you are. So, you know, just in case you're crazy, I could be able to run. <laughs> but um, so we decided to go with them and it was two couples. So it was three of my friends and um, it was five of us. So I'm sorry. So it was two of my friends and two couples plus me making it five. So when we went there... Um, so when we went there um, and it was just, it just seemed strange. When we all went, it was like, um, it seemed like an awkward vibe with the couple. And, um, you know, they seemed like they were in love, but then the guy had wandering eyes. So I was like, okay, like your girl's right there. Like you can't have no respect for her. And you're just looking at all the females like, what's going on? So I told my friend about it and she was like, oh, just... He's just okay. He's just trying to figure things out. So I was like, hmm, something doesn't seem right with this <laughs> this guy. So then, then um, we started talking, and I was like, I thought that they're like a cool couple, and I started becoming friends with the um, lady in the relationship. So I was friend. I started being friends. We exchanged numbers, and we we're talking about life and school and every uh, college and everything. So then, all of a sudden, her um, her um, boyfriend can't, comes in, and he's like uh, talking and you know explaining how he met his girlfriend. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's so cute and nice. Like just being romantic with her and everything so i didn't know he was looking at me so i was just like i was just like minding my business just walking around and just talking my life and um activities we all had planned to do that day and then all of a sudden when the girlfriend goes to um the bathroom this next day the girlfriend goes to the bathroom and he starts looking at me like in a flirty way so i was like what the heck is going on looking at me in a flirty way and then trying to flirt and then when she comes back he starts acting normal so then when i was sleeping um at night the the second day then all of a sudden i was in the room and i felt someone like um like okay so the other girl i had my own room all it was night everyone was sleeping so i heard my door open and then i was like who's it he's like oh i'm just trying to get something and iron from the room because i i don't have no iron in my own room so come he comes in my room and he's like trying to look for the iron i was like oh it's right there okay good night that's it and I'm like in an iron from the room because I, I don't have no iron in my own room. So come, he comes in my room and he's like 
trying to look for the eye and i was like oh it's right there okay good night that's it and i'm like is it his girlfriend in the room like but i didn't know that she was sleeping so he came and then when i was like i i just always oh, there and i was still sleepy and then as i was sleeping this guy comes and he's like touching my back and my butt and i was like I was like, yo, get off me, get off me. I was like, get your hands off me. So he's like, oh, you know, we could just be in a relationship. And, you know, you don't have to tell anyone about it. I could take care of you. And, um, you know, I could buy you all you want. You don't have to tell anyone about it. And I'm like, what kind of person would I be if I'm like this? Like, So then I, I was like, okay, like, this is mad weird. So I told my friend about it. And my friend was like, are you sure like this guy he loves this girl he's about to marry his girlfriend she would never do that i didn't know how to tell the girlfriend so then the next day he came again when we were all sleeping try to come in my room and um say the same stuff again i was like you you have to get away from me because if you don't i'll tell your i'll tell your girlfriend about it i don't know how this guy i think my friend ended up like giving we had like a group number so a group chat just in case we went on activities and someone got lost we were able to communicate he was texting me why she was um she was in the shower and he's like you know i hope you made your decision on being in a relationship with me and you know my girlfriend um she'll understand i was like well why don't we call your girlfriend so she can know if that's okay uh, we were texting this i was like how the heck did you even get my number he's like i mean we, we still had it in the group chat but i was like why are you even texting me like that's really disrespectful so he was just like promising me um all the things that he could do for me so then i i was like i can't do this like my conscience wouldn't even let me be like that because even though he he like they look like they have money and everything i'm not gonna go there to try to break up a relationship and so he was like he just kept doing it and then i just snapped and I was like, oh, no, well, I was praying to God and I was like, God, please help me. I don't want to ruin this relationship. I just want everyone to be able to have fun. And I don't want to be a homewrecker <laughs> because some women in this chance, they'll just take that opportunity and they'll go with it. And they'll be like, hey, you know, he's buying me this, whatever. I don't care. But remember, karma comes karma will get you so i don't want car i don't want karma in my life i didn't want i i looked at myself i was like like he said no 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 don't tell your girlfriend i'm like why are you i even asked him why are you doing this in the on the text he was like because she's not gonna do anything and he said you know she's boring and this and that don't listen to empty promises because at the end of the day he even said that he's gonna still go back with her why would you do that and then try to go with me two women at the same time so i just prayed about it and then i just decided i told the girl and i left early and i just didn't come back to that situation because i looked at myself i was like karma if i was to go along with it karma would have definitely got me and on top of that, my conscience, I just can't be there while someone else is cheating on his girlfriend and I'm just there as a side lady. Like, you you say you take care of me, you do this and this, and you're not willing to leave. And I, even if you are willing, I still don't want to do it because at the end of the day, you're doing it for the wrong reason. So it's just like Joseph and um, Potiphar's wife, Genesis chapter 39, you know, he was tempted. He had all the things that he could have gotten and he left. And my advice to everyone is when you have temptations like this, guys or girls, just leave the relationship, leave the scene fast, run for your life. Don't play because when the devil comes to try to tempt you, you know, he'll show you all the shiny stuff, but then at the end of the day, it's not going to result to anything. You won't, it won't end up good at all. And you end up regretting it. And I didn't want to leave my life in regret. So 
I just decided to do what's best and leave myself out of that situation. Left early. I didn't enjoy it, but at least I left with my conscience and um, left in peace. So that's all I wanted to say. And don't be a homewrecker in a relationship. It's not worth it. And I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, like, hit that notification button. I love you all. Later.